Hi, my name is Austin. I'm a senior at Manhattan High School. I dance at Bates Dance Studio, and I am a part of the Wide Horizons Nature Program. I'm Kiefer Schmidt, and I'm also part of the Wide Horizons Nature Program. I'm a senior at MHS as well, and I throw javelin for track and field. So today we're gonna do a presentation on wild and domestic animals. So to get started off, some of you may already know this, but a wild animal is an animal that lives in nature without any help from humans. And a domestic animal is a pet who depends on humans for things like food and shelter. So our first animal is the wild rabbit. They're typically light brown with large upright ears like you can see in the picture right here. And then they also have a very narrow head. This kind of comes to a point. And then they have long front legs. So the domestic rabbit normally has spotted fur or white brown or black, just like in this picture. And they have smaller ears than a wild rabbit normally has, or they can have floppy ears, which means that their ears lay down by their face. And they have more of a round head than the wild rabbit has. So I want you guys to think for a second, what might a wild rabbit eat? And I'll give you guys a quick little second to think about that. All right. So during warm weather, they, be, they eat weeds, grasses, and clovers, this nice, nice green leafy plants. And then during cold weather, it's twigs, buds, and bark, like you can see here, a lot of brown stuff compared to the green stuff they eat during the warmer weather. Okay, so now I want you to think about what would a domestic rabbit eat? All right. So a domestic rabbit needs to have an unlimited amount of timothy hay, which is a type of dried grass like in this picture. And they also need to have an unlimited amount of water. And they should have fresh vegetables every day, as well as a small amount of food pellets. So the similarities between the domestic and wild rabbit are they are prey animals, which means they only get hunted. They never hunt other animals and they're vegetarian, so they don't eat any meat. And then they groom themselves up. Up in this picture here, you can see it's kind of licking its paws and stuff, so all rabbits do that. And like we take baths and showers, they lick themselves like a cat does. And then they sleep with their eyes open. Since they're a prey animal, if anything passes in front of them, they'll immediately wake up so they can either escape or just see what it is. And then they have large front teeth called incisors. And I want you guys to repeat that, incisors. Okay, so our next animal that we're gonna be talking about is the wolf. And that is a wild animal, and, the, and this is a picture of them. They have very, very sharp teeth, and they typically travel in a pack, and they're territorial, which means that they like their space and they don't like to share it with anyone that's outside of their pack, and they're also not easy to train. So the domestic animal that's most related to the wolf is the husky, and they're good-natured with people, they're easier to train, and can live in more places than wolves. Since they are a domestic animal, they can live with people and in cities. So now I want you to think about what would a wolf eat? All right. So wolf's main diet is meat. So any small animals that they can hunt or if they're with their pack, normally they can hunt to larger animals. All right, so I want you guys to think about what a husky might eat. All right, so husky should eat raw foods like chicken, beef, lamb, fish, fruits, and vegetables. Like you can see here, all these vegetables sitting in front of them and that's kind of their main diet. They can have dog food, but it needs to have a lot of meat in it. Okay, so the similarities between the wolf and the husky is that they both have a very, very thick fur coat, like you can see in both of these pictures. And they also have pointed upright ears and they're very intelligent and they are both omnivores. And an omnivore is an animal that eats both meat and plants. All right, so now we're gonna show you our bunny Hope. She is three years old and her birthday is actually on Easter. And she is a lop eared bunny. So like we were talking about, she has ears that lay down next to her face. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.